Hello and welcome back to another episode on the HLT SMP. Today we are going to be raiding this woodland mansion that we found in the previous episode. We just ripped headed up to the second story to get in. Now that we're inside, we are going to start killing all of these pillagers here with Birdman. Just gonna search these halls up here, and I'm actually gonna grab some of these carpets, because I think they're gonna be nice for a mega build sometime in the future. Continue just searching around these and picking up these carpets. Hopefully we can find some evokers to get some totems of undying. Found this cat statue and pillager head, and sure enough, there's another pillager inside. I took, I took care of a bunch of those guys, and soon we found this bookshelf room, which was very useful. Took care of a few more pillagers here and there, and just continued collecting bookshelves and killing off the occasional pillagers. These bookshelves will be useful for enchanting maybe a little bit, and also trading with the villagers. Then we actually went on to the first floor because we couldn't find the entrance before, but now here is the main staircase. We thought that there might be a little bit more pillagers down here, and we looked around, as we had not yet even found a single evoker, so we couldn't get any totems yet. We found some cobblestone, broke into it, and it was one of these little prison cells. Sadly, I couldn't find anything in here except for these two zombies. We quickly killed those along with Birdman, and we just continued to loot the mansion. More bookshelf collecting. I looted this pretty terrible chest, and we got some melon seeds, but we already got those in the last episode. Kept mining around to get some more bookshelves. And then I actually did find this one good chest, had a diamond chest plate and a diamond hoe. Did not take the diamond hoe, and I just took the chest plate maybe for an ender dragon fight soon. I was in need of some wood, so I chopped down all of these dark oak trees just to get a good supply of logs so I could have some when I got home. Dark oak is also a pretty nice building block, so maybe we'll make a building out of some dark oak in the future. Just a few more logs and then I was going to go home. So here's just going to be a little time lapse of me going home. Once I got home, I put all of this loot from the mansion in the chests, including all these dark oak logs and these books, just clearing out my inventory a little bit. I also collected some of these brown and red mushroom blocks just because they are a nice block if you use them right, so maybe I'll use them in a build soon. 
As you can see, I have a ton of wood now, which will be nice for stick trading with the villagers and also building. Ate some cake for a little celebration. And I am off to another time lapse. We're just going to go mining for a little bit. Once I got back from mining, I fortuned up all of these diamonds, lapis, and other resources that I got. You probably noticed that I still only have a silk touch iron pick, even though I've been playing in this world for quite some time. Maybe next episode or a few episodes from now, I'll try to get a maxed out silk touch netherite or even maybe just diamond pick. Mind up all this redstone, maybe a new redstone build coming soon in the future. I don't really know though, because I don't have anything in mind. Once I got down, I checked my inventory and I had collected everything. Then said hi to this big iron boy, and we actually did enchant an efficiency for iron pickaxe. I mean diamond pickaxe. But that was not to get a fortune one, that was to go and make our current diamond pickaxe into an efficiency 5 diamond pickaxe. Which is just that slightest bit faster, which will make mining a little bit easier. 
Once I got my pickaxe all nice and maxed out, I went and collected some of this dripstone. Dripstone can be a nice block as well, so I just collected it and collected some points just because I like killing people sometimes. Don't tell the FBI. Yeah, I just collected some more dripstone. I was here for a while. And I got a really nice amount of this stuff. I actually did find some diamonds um, behind the dripstone, so I just fortuned those up as well. As you can see, we're getting a decent amount of diamonds from these. We got 16 diamonds from that little bit amount of diamond ore, which is a pretty nice profit. Gonna check how many diamonds we have in this episode. Just craft all of those back into plain diamonds. And we have a total of 53 diamonds. That's almost a stack, and I'm pretty happy with that amount. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If so, please like and subscribe for more Happy Little Town episodes. Thank you, and goodbye!